Hi, my name is Mike Rushton from Tamarack Outdoors and welcome to this short video on the Hellsport Fjellheimen Superlight 2 Man. So the Hellsport Fjellheimen Superlight, uh, this is my go-to trekking tent now, it's a two-man tent even though I use it uh, most of the time on my own. Uh, it's part of the, uh, the Hellsport Pro series and it's a really super light tent. So the tent itself, uh, this is the, uh, the outer and the inner in here. Uh, at the minute this is just a bag that it comes in, but you can actually see, you can actually compress this. Yeah, really, really small. Okay, bear in mind this is a two-man tent. Uh, its weight's about 1.7k with all pegs, poles, outer and inner. Um, so really compact, lightweight trekking tent and once it's pitched, loads of room inside. So this is the, uh, the pole bag and the pole sizes. Not only that, it's got an integrated uh, little peg bag on the, uh, on the pole bag as well. Um, so as always, the first thing out is the pegs. So these are the uh, pegs you get with the, with the tent. Uh, first of all, you get a series of these uh, very, very thin, lightweight pin pegs and then you get these uh, heavier V-shaped pegs. So the poles are colour-coded. The red one is the longest one, it's a three-pole tent. And you have two pole sections of this gold colour. And then you have your spare pole section as well. So now I'm going to uh, pitch the outer. So the first part of the tent, this is the uh, the main peg point at the foot end, and the foot end on this particular tent always goes facing the wind. The wind direction's coming this way at the minute. So I'll peg that down. There's three peg points on the back end, so I'll do that and then get the tent out and then put the poles in. We're on the start of every uh, pole sleeve, uh, there's a colour coded tab to correspond with the colour coded pole. And all I do first is just put these poles in flat, just making sure the pole goes right to the end in the pole sleeve. Then it's the red one, the bigger one, and then the last gold one. Uh, so now I can tension the poles and put the pole end in the uh, pole cup that sits just underneath here. And then pull the tent out and peg the vestibule or the head end out. So this is the uh, what I call the, the first or the initial pitch. So now on the end of every pole there is um, a peg point and this is where these little thin pin pegs come in handy because uh, what I do now I go from there and pull the tent tight and then readjust the head end final. So we've got all the pegs in now at the, boat, at the base of every pole so I can just rearrange this and then peg out the guide. So as always, if a tent manufacturer puts a guide point on, it's, uh, there's a reason for it. So if there's a guy there, always make sure it's used. OK, so that's the, uh, the tent uh, outer pitched, uh, with all the guys and all the pegs in. Uh, so let's just have a walk around it and look at some features. So this is the, uh, the foot end of the tent, and uh, it's got this, uh, what the Hellsport call an air to flow system, so to reduce condensation, basically. And at the base here, you've got this little clip that you can unclip and roll up 
to let air to come through underneath the tent so we're actually coming in driving out or reducing condensation and then it's got this vent here as well uh, it's just on this little um, this little velcro stiffener um, it's worth putting that up as well so not only getting air coming in through here you're actually getting air coming in through there um, I'll just open up for you you can see in there there's actually midge netting within that as well Also you can see the guide points, yeah, this tab here on this seam, yeah, and this is the foot end, so the foot ends into the wind. I'll actually guide that out. So there's actually five peg points at the foot end now, so ensuring that the tent is secure. So this is the uh, the head end uh, or, or the, the vestibule, and uh, yet again it's got this vent to drive moisture coming up over and through the tent in between the uh, the inner and the outer. Uh, yet again that's uh, meshed as well also here on the head end you can see we've got the two guide points here and these tabs and that's coming out so there's actually four peg points up on the head or the vestibule end so I'll open the door now the door has actually got a, 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 a weatherproof uh, it's not a waterproof but a weatherproof zip uh, on it and uh, just a good tip because uh, the material is so lightweight you want to get this to do with any tent really is if you just hold it tight and then just assist that zip as you go along that prevent the uh, the zip from breaking and then we'll just unfold that and you have two little clips here just to keep the door back and obviously the door is great as well for opening that when it's dry to reduce condensation inside Right, so now we'll uh, go ahead and put the inner in. So within the tent bag, uh, I always um, compartmentalise or isolate the inner away from the outer. If the outer's rain wet or it's condensation or whatever, I don't want the inner getting contaminated. So this is just an expert dry bag. I try and keep the inner nice and dry as best I can while it's all stored together inside the bag and inside my rucksack. And the, uh, as you go through the door, the bottom left-hand corner of the tent, there is a hook with a red tab on. Now that corresponds with the red loop on the inner, um, so that's your start point. So that's pretty much the tent pitched and takes uh, with a bit of practice un under five minutes. So you can see this is the, um, I'm knelt up in the vestibule now, I'm six foot one and there's uh, plenty of room I can kneel up in and do stuff. Um, but the door, uh, it's got uh, midge net on the top, uh, just a two zip system. And this can actually fold back and go inside, you've got pockets here as well. So you've got three on this side, three on this side for mobile phones and stuff. This is an air vent to get um, uh, clean air through into the inner if you like. Uh, it's just a, a two zips and a, a little bit of Velcro. If you can just see through here, midge net again. And then that's the uh, the vent at the foot end, uh, driving this moisture, this air, Health Sports Air 2 flow system, uh, driving moisture out the, uh, the vent on the vestibule and out through the door. So as you can see, um, as I say, I'm six foot one and there's loads of room for you, all your kit, for two people. Um, it's a really spacious tent, uh, but only 1.7k. So it's, um, you know, it's a real bonus uh, having this room, especially in the winter. So there we are. That's uh, just a short video on the Hellsport Fjellheim and Superlight 2-man. All packed up, ready to go for the next camp. For any dimensions, material, specs and weights, etc., please look on the bottom of the screen now for our website. I hope you enjoyed this video and we'll see you later.